Hey everyone, Courant here welcoming you back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we made our way through the Mejiora Highlands. All of it. Hoi. And we ended up beating up the Repair Phone Bot, who, for being a machine that is not a combat model, sure had a lot of combat to him. In this episode, we are going to leave the Mejiora Highlands at long last. And, well, we get ourselves a little bit of surprise as we step outside. Just head up through here, and well, as it turns out, we're not alone. Hey, it's Aston! Luke! How are you doing? You're alive! I'm the only one of our senior brigade who survived. I didn't get to join them. What are you saying? Even if it's just you, thank goodness someone lived. But why are you here, Aston? If I don't keep myself busy, I start thinking about Eamon and the others. So, I made the Albior 2. Uh, wait. We broke the first one. The Albior 3! Anyway, I made it. And then it crashed again? Now listen here, little lady. I was in the middle of a test flight when I saw you people and... Ah! You! Spinoza! Eavesdropping again? You're such a creep. Stop! Let's follow him! Yes, let's. Also, in the category of strange reactions, I mean, you saw tears... Well, very late reaction to getting hurt earlier. And now you see the late reaction to Spinoza popping up on the map here. Okay, I think we need to basically just make our way toward the entrance of... of Mejior Highlands in order for this to queue up further. So, let's go ahead and do that. Aston, where's Spinoza? Look up at the sky! I wish I could have that ship! I like that ship better than the Albior that we actually have. I mean, I just like the color scheme better. And I talked over Luke, so sorry. No, it looks similar, but it's not the same. That's my Albior 3! We let him get away again! Oh! Follow him in the Albior 2! He's only got enough fuel for a test flight. He should fall soon. Spinoza is a top physicist. If he were on our side, he'd be useful in dealing with the miasma. Got it. We'll catch up to him in the Albior. I'm coming along too. Okay, if you insist. Fortunately, all we really gotta do to exit the place is just hit the button there. Pursue the Albior 3, right? Leave it to me. We're counting on you, Noel. And we get semi-awkwardly slow chase scene. Albior 3 spotted, but it's behaving strangely. What's wrong? It's smoking and... Oh! I wonder if he's alive. The Albior 3 is a sturdy craft. A mere crash isn't going to hurt its passengers. The monsters here would be rough on an elderly man. He'll probably run for the city. Okay, to Belkin. Which fortunately, it deposits us, well, pretty much right next to. Although not quite as next to as I'd like to be, because we've still got to go around the other side of it. Okay, but hey, we can still go in. There he is. Let's go, get him! Y yes master Donk. That's as far as you go. We have a lot to talk about. You're coming with us. Just what did you plan to do after eavesdropping on us? Were you going to report to Master Van again? N no. Please, everyone. We won't learn anything by shouting at him. 
Why were you in the Mejiora Highlands? I... I went to Sheridan to pay my respects to everyone's graves. There, I heard Aston was going to the Mejiora Highlands. I thought I'd apologize to him. Then why the hell did you run away? I... I was scared. I didn't know what to say, so... Do you expect us to believe that? It's your fault the Commandant found out about us. It's true that I betrayed Henkin and Kathy not just once, but twice. I ignored them and conducted forbidden research. Then I sold them up the river to Van. I know I can never undo that. But when they were killed, I realized what I'd done. I asked myself if my research was really worth killing my friends for. I think we can believe what he's saying. Luke. It was hard for me to acknowledge destroying Axaryuth. Once I did, I felt I had to do something to make up for it. Spinoza is me back then. If your resolve is true, then there's something we want your help on. What? What is it? Research. How to neutralize, or rather, isolate the miasma. We need your expertise in physics. Colonel, you're going to trust him? Whatever his character, we need his brain. Please, let me do it. Research is all I can do. You're my brother's, Vans, research scientist. If you do that, he may kill you. I'll do it anyway. Please, let me do it. How about we try trusting this fool one last time? But he's a traitor! What if we have him join the research under 24-hour surveillance? I don't have the authority. Then I'll give the order. Set things up as Jade said. Yes, Your Highness. I'll put everything I've got into this research. Thank you so much. Well, if he betrays us after saying all that, he's quite the actor. My miasma isolation plan consists of just a few scribbles, but here you are. Please read it over. We'll take Spinoza to Phone Machine Lab 1. I'll repair the Albior 3 and return to Sheridan. Show us what you can do, Spinoza. Oh, I have a message for you all from the researchers. The remaining Sephiroth is near Doth's Cathedral. The Cathedral? I had no idea. That place is pretty big, after all. Let's go look for it. Why do they believe him so easily? They're all so stupid. Well, I would just like to think that we're all optimistic. Yeah, we'll go with optimistic. Okay, well, as they mentioned, next up is Doth, so I will head out of here and I will meet you guys over there. I wonder if the passage ring is inside the cathedral. I don't know, but it's rumored that there's a passage from the cathedral into Mount Zalejo. If people are saying that much, there may also be a path to the passage ring. Let's see if we can find it. All right, fair enough. I don't really have anything I need to take care of, I think, right now in terms of shopping. Let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay, because we've got enough magic lenses and the like. I will go ahead and mention the next area coming up actually is a dungeon. So if you want to stock up on items, do so. There is no boss in this dungeon, though, so you're not really going to need to worry about that. It'll make it a little bit easier on the wallet if you are playing hard mode, or if you just don't have the money that maybe you had earlier, then don't worry so much about it. Moose! Phone Master Ion, you're back. We've come looking for the Sephiroth. Yes, I've received a report from Yulia City. The passage ring is... beyond that door. It's a straight path, so you can't get lost. What's Master Van doing? Huh. He abandoned his duty and ran off somewhere with the God Generals. I don't see many Oracle soldiers either. Don't tell me. More than half of them ran off to join Van. It's infuriating. Now I've got my hands full rebuilding the Oracle Knights. Oh, the room connected to the passage ring 
is past a corridor that's hidden to keep out intruders. Good luck finding it. Well, what a loathsome human being. He's probably grumpy because the peace treaty has made it hard to start his war. It's a lot better than having him get in our way. Yes, he just wants to uphold the score. His aim has nothing to do with Vans causing the land to fall or his vision of a replica world. He shouldn't have any reason to interfere with us. Master Van, I wonder where he went. It couldn't be. Do you have an idea? No, not really. Well, I do, but that's because I've already played the game before, so heh. <laughs> okay, so if you want to actually go straight into Mount Zalejo, you can. There is something, though, that you can pick up while you're here if you want to do that. I'm going to show you how. It's not a huge deal. It's a sunlight chamber. So if you're not really up for that sort of thing, you can leave it for later or maybe just not even get it at all. It does involve some of the twisting and turning that can be done in some of these paths. So just fair warning. Now, if you want to go straight to Mount Zalejo, take that door right there as they demonstrated, the one up to the northeast there. If you want to get your sunlight chamber, though, you need to go up to the northwest door. And then we started getting into the maze of all of, oh boy, all of Doth Cathedral. Okay, so first up, we need to go, we'll just pretty much follow the path here. This isn't too hard. And then I think this next one is a path that curves around, so we will be going south. I said we'll be going south, actually. Let's see. Oh god, see, part of this is it's hard to tell what they mean when they say south. I think this is it, actually, though, because, yeah, this is taking us back east. Okay. Okay, and then next three are east, east, and north. Now, if someone were to actually lay out the Doth Cathedral just on a map, I guess it wouldn't be too hard. It's just a pain in the butt, though. And as I mentioned earlier, I am using the strategy guide to do this. It doesn't lay anything out that way, so I kind of wish it did and make it easier to follow along. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't. Okay, next three are west, south, and northwest, so let's go around here. I said go around here, Luke. Thank you. And then we need to go down south, so yeah, just go down here pretty much. And then northwest, meaning basically this entrance right here, instead of the south one, obviously. All right, and then finally, south, south, and east. So actually, it wasn't quite as terrible as I thought it to be in terms of if you know the directions, you know which way to go. But if you don't know the directions to get to this thing, how in the world are you going to find it without a walkthrough is my question. All righty, Sue. So, yep, here we are. Now, what you have to do, actually is go into this area here. And it is actually something that requires Mew Wings to work. So go ahead and pull up Mew Wings, not hit the wrong buttons, Eric, and then drop. And it seems as though that might kill us, but it doesn't, and it does give us the opportunity to get that sunlight chamber. Now you notice in terms of the phone slot chambers, we don't have very many sunlights, so it might be worth it to pick up. Doesn't really take very long. Okay, I say we don't have very many, it's our only one, so there you go. Now what you do is go down and watch, well, watch you fall down to the ground and pretty much you are back where you started. So you don't really have to worry too much about backtracking. I like that they did that because it makes it a lot more worth it to actually pick that up instead of just being a complete waste of time trying to go back. Now what we have to do to get Mount Zalejo is go northeast and pretty much, they, or excuse me, Moe said that it was a, an area hidden to try to keep intruders out. It's not very hidden. It's pretty easy to find. Just go northeast and keep going along the path. Once you think you might want to turn around, keep on going because the path continues on into the old part of the cathedral. Or at least what looks like the old part of the cathedral anyway. You notice it's getting darker. It's getting a lot less light in it. And then you go on to stone walkway, so just aging even more as you go along. Fortunately, this dungeon that we're going into, Mount Zalejo, is not very, I don't know, it's not very complicated, I guess. 
this room has a hidden corridor that goes to the passage ring? He said it was a straight path. Let's try looking around. Ah! I tripped! I claim shenanigans on that one, but that's just me. Oh, what's this? To think there was a hidden passage here. But why did Moe's know about this and not Ion? I imagine the original probably knew. Okay, let's go take a look. Eh, why not? Oh, I bet we can get there if we step into this phonic glyph. Anis, can I ask you a question? What is it, Colonel? You knew about this place, didn't you? Really? No, I didn't! I had no idea about it! Now let's go! Come on! Hurry! Gee, I wonder if she's lying. Don't worry about it. It looks like they're doing some sort of research here. It probably belongs to Moe's. Just what is he doing? Let's not worry about that. Where's the passage ring? Anis, if you sound too suspicious, I'm going to feel like asking you to explain. Uh... Perhaps it's in here. Let's take a look. Alright, so we get our official welcome to Mount Zalejo. I will note before we move on from here, that if you want to go back to Doth to do stuff, buy stuff, what have you, you can actually go through this and I believe go ahead and go back. Yeah, all right, it'll let you go ahead and warp back there. Uh, let's see, I think what I want to do is I want to pick up these treasure chests that are over here. And then I think I'm actually going to end this episode. I know it's really early, isn't it? But pick up our Arc Wand first off and then head over here and pick up this treasure. Stracito, which is a capacity core. Let's take a look at it then. All right, Stracito is all the way down here. Phonic, excuse me, physical attack plus four. Physical defense plus one, phonic defense plus one, and nothing else. This would be really good if, I would say maybe in a new game plus, if you want to just push Luke to physically attack all the time and not have anything else. Otherwise, it's a little too, I don't know, it's not really varied enough for my taste, and it doesn't include anything about the enhancements, which is what I'm leaning on a lot in my capacity cores. So I'm not going to give this to anybody, but it's a good one to have nonetheless. If no other reason than to fill out the, the collection, not connection, silly me. All right, but as I mentioned, I'm actually going to go ahead and close things off here. Next time on Tales of the Abyss, we are going to head into Mount Vallejo for good, really, and see what awaits us there at the final Sephiroth. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.